I'm not sure who this message is for, but God placed this message on my heart. So I just want to be obedient and make this video. Before we get started, I want to pray for you. Father God, I thank you for the person that clicked on this video. It's not by accident, incident, or coincidence. It's by the providence of you, Lord God, that they found their way to this video. I pray you speak through me and use me as a willing vessel to speak an on-time word to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming to the video. Listen up. God wants us to take our hands off the steering wheel. Many times in life, we want to control everything. We want to call the shots. We want to say left turn, right turn. See, we think we know what's best. When in reality, we need to be in the back seat. Why is that? Because see, if we're truly followers of Jesus Christ, follow, to truly follow means to get behind. How can you be a follower if no one is in front of you? We, we don't call the shots. Many times we make all these decisions without even going to God. Or better yet, we'll call everybody in our phone for advice. We'll go down the list. All the friends, everybody, this, that. Well, hey, what you think about this? What you think about that? And we never give God his office space to do his office work. When was the last time we just laid our situation down at his feet and say, Jesus, I trust you. Show me which way to go. Show me what it is to do. Show me how I can glorify you in this situation. Show me which route to take. Show me what to say or if I should just keep my mouth closed. You know what I'm saying? Trust and, trust and believe that Jesus wants to take the wheel. But y'all, we like this a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? We just like this. And, and we ain't just holding the wheel. We gripping the wheel tight. Like I wish somebody would try to try to show me what to do in my life like this this is my life but in reality this ain't even your life you don't own anything this is just an earth suit this shirt part of my earth suit <laughs> understand this you're in this world right and not of this world Meaning that God has you here for a specific purpose. You're in this world, but you're not of this world. You don't belong here. See, I'm in this truck, but I'm not of this truck. In other words, I'm not of this truck. I'm not made of this material or this tent on this window. That ain't had nothing to do with me. I'm in the truck, though. You understand? You're in this world, but not of this world. You're not going to uh, fit in with everybody. That's part of the game. That's just how it goes. You are called to be different, set apart for such as a time as this. And guess what? The time is right now. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith, right now, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we got to stretch our faith and understand that when we allow Jesus to take the wheel, he knows the right way. You understand? Because a lot of times, if we don't allow someone to drive or allow someone to take the wheel, it's really because we may not trust their driving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How would you like it if a, se if a seven year old got behind your wheel and told you get in the back seat and drove you around town? You will be on pins and needles. As a matter of fact, you will be, you will be in the back seat, but your head will be way up here. You'll be like, hey, watch out for that car. Watch out for them. Hey, put your blinker on. Because really, you don't trust the driver. But understand, when it comes to Jesus, you understand? He gets the wheel. And you know what you do? Not only do you get in the back seat, you get in the, in, in the, baby, in the baby seat. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You get in the little baby seat. And look, you got your little baby mirror right there. Because listen, why is that? We got childlike faith. We back there and we looking out the window just like a kid would do. We're, we're amazed by what we see. Why is that? Because as adults, we too conditioned to keep our eyes on the road and take stuff too serious. When Jesus is saying, just sit back there, look out the window, smile. You understand? That's the beauty of having your master. That's the beauty of having your father. Your loving, caring, sharing, heavenly father, rest, rule, abide in your life and take the wheel. And for once, for once, you just, you just let go of all that control and then you can be a child again. You know what I'm saying? You could sit in your car seat, you could play with your little toy, and you can be a child. You understand? That's the type of trust we got to have in the Lord. So I'm not sure who this message is for, but look, you got you to gotta try to take that control off of your life. 
I can only see a certain distance. I may can only see about a half mile down the road, but I can't see all the way down there and then take a right turn, then a left turn, then another right turn. I can't see that far. So I have sight, but I can't see beyond sight. When it comes to faith, when it comes to trusting in God, you understand that he has the helicopter view. He can see all that. He know four streets down to the right to this, that, that. He has the helicopter view. He knows how to make the crooked things straight. He knows what's ahead of you. He knows what attacks are coming against you. He can see the enemy trying to, uh, the enemy's plot ploy and playing against you. God can see everything. But when you choose to X him out and say, no, I got this. You know how it is when you drive in the rain and you can't see nothing. Windshield wipers be going fast as they can. But deep down, if you be honest, you really can't see nothing. You got your flashes on. You doing this. You doing that. Many of us, that's how we are in our life. Oh, but to everybody looking in. Oh, I got this. I, I got control over this. I'm, I'm running this show. You know, I'm doing this. I'm making the money. I'm doing this. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm this and that. But deep down. Man, listen, you struggling. You don't have that peace that surpasses all understanding. Why is that? You're not submitted unto God. Take them hands off the wheel today, man. Love you so much. I'm not sure who this message was for. If this video helped you out. Hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. New videos every day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take them hands off, man.